up? It's me again. And today I received this combiner box. Okay, I purchased this box here for my panels, for my solar system to hook up with the panels. So basically this is a six string combiner box. So I can hook up six different uh, arrays of um, solar panels. So I went with the six one because I, did, I was going to get a one that has four, but I wanted to go with the larger one because in the future I said to myself, you know what, let me go big because if I don't, then later on I'm going to get rid of the four one and I don't want to go through all that selling and getting rid of it. And let me just go with the bigger one. So in case I expand it later, I'll be able to expand it. So this comes with the few switches here. These few so, so basically I switched them because they had 20 amp fuses. So I put the smaller 10 amp fuses instead of the 20 amp. So, so they'll pop faster. And then it has this switch over here right which you hook up the the wires to the solar charger so these will go from here all the way through here and into there right that's this um, switch here this relay switch not really switch but you know so and then it has this um, ground protector here as well so I would have to hook up the ground actually the ground comes through here it would come out from there and hook up to there and that's for the ground and the positive and negative from this will come out from this area and this goes to the each um, string of panels so I did order another panel so another panel I was gonna order two but I decided to go with one so one of them is coming in on Monday which is gonna be my 11th panel so I'm trying to scale up the slowly scale up the solar system um, because I think solar is going to be key you know this is not going to be cheap to get this running without paying any power so if you're mining one of the best things to do is if you can go solar you know so I'm just going to do like a little bit at a time I'm not going to go crazy and I got to test the waters I got to you know like I said, figure out how this whole system works. But I know how it works now. But it's just how to scale up this system. So this is going to go, obviously it's going to go outside. Got the ground wire also hooked up to the door. It does have a little key, you know, to lock. But it's not a big deal. You know, so I'm going to... Um, be hooking this up in a couple of days outside so I mean I think that these wires are a little thinnish to me I mean they'll probably work uh, these are probably size 14 I think I don't know, gauge 14 is kind of very thin I could replace these cables and make them thicker right there you know I want to make them thick like this you know thick, that thick I could probably do that but then I would that then I would have to replace all of these because these are already built into there so I want to replace all of these which I could but for now I think it's all right anyway because I'm not pulling a lot of amps so it's gonna be okay you know you know what I'm probably not even gonna need to because because if I have like uh, 
six panels each string right now. I'll have six on one and four on another. So I'm not going to be pulling a lot of amps anyway because I have it hooked up in a series. So it's not going to be a big deal. So I'm, you know, safety is key. You know, so these, you know, these switches here, well, these whole fuses, these are for fuses. I put the 10 amps there. So I put the 10 amps because I didn't want, I wanted to go lower so they can easily pop than a 20 amp. You know what I mean? So it should, each string should be only like about, about almost 6 amps coming through each string that I know of. So if anything, I, I would change the fuses. Maybe I would go 15. But I'm going to stick with 10 for now. <coughs> and this is a 63 amp, right? Yeah, it's just similar to this one right here. I mean, I don't know how good this one is. Maybe I should just replace this brand right here and then move this one there. This is probably a better brand. I don't know. You know, I could just swap that one for, for this one. That's probably good enough. I kind of like this one because it has like uh, red and green there. I could probably leave just leave this. I'm not even going to mess with that. Man. Leave that there the way it is. And that should work there. Yeah. So, I have to make sure these work nice and tight. Yeah, well, this is what I got this combiner box. So, I'm going to be expanding my solar system. You know, I'm going to get that other panel. I should get it next week. And I got to figure out how I'm going to set up. You know those panels outside. Um, I'm gonna be moving things around and testing things and figuring out. You know, like to me, like I said, you know, like for me, solar is gonna be key in this whole system. You know, because I got right now I have these on solar. This, these are the tiny ones anyway, but they don't take a lot of power. This one only is like 17 watts. It's about 25 watts. This is this one is uh, so about 100 watts. So I only have those connected to it. I might do another one with two, two of them. So I'm going to do it slowly until I can, you know, because right now it does run overnight. But, uh, because to get it, you know, to run overnight is the key thing. Run overnight, but then the next day it's being charged. You got to make sure you're pulling in enough uh, solar in, solar charge in then it's depleting you know that way it's charging at the same time it is running during the day and then, and then for the night time that's the whole thing so for the night time it'll run on batteries so if the batteries just happen to just you know die out because it drained all the batteries I have the switcher here that's going to switch or quickly switch and go right into grid power and it's still keep it on you know it'll still keep the system on and then once the sun comes up it's going to go back to start charging again this is going to start charging again the battery but this was not going to kick on to solar until it reaches a certain set uh, voltage that I want the batteries charged up and then it's going to switch on automatically once the batteries reach that voltage that set voltage this is going to switch back to soul um to the batteries you know what i mean so i mean i like this idea i know that they have these like uh all combined in one whole thing but it's more expensive you know it's, it's, it's a lot of money like a thousand dollars you know because this i spent like about 100 bucks and that was another 200 and something dollars and I was like whatever 300 some dollars but they got systems that uh, and then this over here was another like two hundred dollars, but they got stuff you know that's thousands of dollars or a thousand and change or whatever. It's all combined in one. You could go that route if you want to do that. But I, you know, I like to kind of like learn how this whole thing system works. So it's kind of like I mean, you can go the other route. I mean, like the other route. There's nothing wrong with the other route too. 
I mean, I'll probably end up doing that eventually, you know, because then, you know, I would have to just, you know, unload a lot of cash on that. But, but now I got this. This is what I'm dealing with. And, like I said, solar is going to be key, you know. So, like I said, I'm scaling up. Because right now I just got, like, um, cables connected, combining together from the, the two solar strings. And they run all the way down to here. And they come around and they, and they connect to here. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to take remove this piece here from inside my house. Because I'm going to have that outside. Because it's like you're not going to need this piece here. So I can just go directly from here. And just bypass this. Don't have this piece on. Just put this away. And these two will just go straight down to the control charge control. So it would eliminate that. I can probably do that. Or I can just leave it in here. Maybe for extra safety, maybe. I don't know, my two of them are okay. I'm going to have two of those. But once this hits, clicks, it's going to shut this. No power is going to come through here. I mean, I could. I think it's, I'm just going to keep it here, one there. And I, I, I won't need this. I'm just going to leave it outside. But this is probably okay. You know, um, this is a, just a smaller one. This was off I had. Uh, this is a 40 amp one, and that's when I had the 40 amp uh, charge controller. But this I can put this one away. I don't even need this one here. As a matter of fact, I can just take it off. Yeah, and I can just slide this one over a little bit. Just leave it like this. But I can remove this one. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it, I, I, you know, I purchased this here so I can connect individual 12 volt ones, and I was testing with that with box my uh, the box miner that I had, and uh, I mean it worked pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna take it out. So I'm gonna eliminate this piece. Yeah, I really don't need that. It has a fuse. Just put this away. Take that out. I might just leave it for now. You know, I'm cleaning clearing things up. So this is one of those switches. What it looks like, you know. So yeah, I'll put this one away. This is a 40 amp one, right? Yeah. And this was a 63, 63 amp, as well as that one. Yeah. So yeah, I could just bypass this. Boom. So once I set this up, and I won't need this one in here. You know, and then I got another one here, 60 amp here, from the power coming down from the from the uh, charge controller to the batteries to charge up the batteries. You know, so if anything surges through here, it'll shut this off. Boom! Oh, I just hit the camera. Okay, so this is gonna protect the. Uh, panels from surging too much amps coming into here from the panels this will shut off right that's one protection two will be inside here this is probably uh, uh, some kind of a fuse or something in here I think so but I know there is for what I heard there's one inside here but anyway so 60 amps come here this one if anything, this on the trigger and it will shut it off. Click, click, it's on automatic, it will shut off. Too much power is coming. It already did it um, when I had the 40 amp one, so I had upgraded to a 60, 60 amp one because I got more panels or whatever. So then it, and then it will come into here, boom, to charge up the batteries. So same thing with the batteries here. If if this is pulling, it's 200, 2000 watt inverter is pulling too much power from the batteries. Right. This fuse here will pop. Boom. You know what I mean? So I have two of them because this one would would have been for this area here. It will pop this one. This is a 250 amp and this is a, uh, I believe it's a 100 or 100, 125 I think. Yeah, 120, about 125 amp. But I don't need this. Um, this I might be removed that and put it away. Disconnect that piece. I got connected. So it's less wiring here. 
it looks looks so crazy right and I got it all running to this here which is this is a switcher it connects to the switcher you know what I mean so and this is plugged into the switch from the um, inverter to the switch that way so to the automatic switch that's pretty much it you know so I had to bring in another board to put this piece on Thanks to expand it more. I was kind of thinking of taking those batteries and move them out of there and maybe stack them up high like um, in another in another compartment like I'm getting like a metal compartment you know and put them in the metal compartment those eight batteries I mean I can go up to 16 batteries but I would have to I can't have them all parallel I can only have up to eight parallel what I can do like in series I think up to 16 batteries 16 I think 16 batteries cat parallel I believe might be more I have to look I have to look at the manual I might be able to put more so because I, you know slowly I'm gonna move on to 24 volts right now this is a 20 12 volt system I'm gonna move to a 24 volt system soon soon so that's pretty much it guys so that's it for the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later on the next one peace latest and i'm out